Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the Think Tank Retrospective 7M, which might stand for meter, messenger bag. Now I've used this for about three weeks now, filmed about four videos carrying all my gear in it, and today I'm gonna do a review on it, also talk about what I like and don't like about it, and if I think it's worth your guys' money. So before I get hit in the back of the head with a golf ball, I'm gonna go to a different location. So I feel like the first thing I need to cover with this bag before I go into this whole video is the price. Now this bag is not like your cheap, let's buy it off Amazon bag. This can mainly be found on bnh.com. Um, I'll have a link to it down in the description down below. Now depending on if you're buying a camera from B&H, some cameras come with this bag for free. And that's how I got this bag. I got it in a kit with a Sony a7 III, so I did not pay the full price of this thing, so you have to keep that in mind while I'm talking about it in this video. But this video is not sponsored by Think Tank or anybody like that. So going over the price, this thing ranges from, I think right now on B&H at the time of making this video, this bag is $165. Yeah, that's kind of ouch. Um, it's really expensive. It's, it can also be all the way up to $200. Um, and it can be only $100 depending on which size of bag you get. Now there are a bunch of different sizes and you can kind of just tell by selecting the different options and these two hang points will be closer to each other because the bag's smaller and they stay the same, they stay the same size. So that's how you can tell the difference between those. But yeah, not a cheap bag. But this thing is extremely high quality. And of course I'm gonna go into detail about it in a minute. But if you feel it, it's a nice like canvas base. It's um, actually water resistant. So really water will just kind of fall right off of this thing. Feels very high quality. The stitching's all very nice. No fraying or anything on any part of this. It has plenty of compartments. And uh, I only really have one complaint about this that I'll get into later in the video. And it's a little bit annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. So I feel like to properly give you guys an impression of this bag, we need to get a little bit closer. And I'll give you kind of a view of all the pockets and compartments in this bag, because there are a lot of pockets and compartments. And I hope this doesn't take too long because there are a lot of things to go over on this bag. So first off, we just have the front of this thing. It's just kind of a plain look, but it's nice. It's kind of inconspicuous because one of the big things they were going for when they made this bag is that it wouldn't look like a camera bag. It kind of looks more like a, just an everyday carry, like you have your laptop and some books in this thing. It doesn't really look like you have your really expensive camera in this. So you can hang things from this if you want to, but these are not important for the latch. What actually keep, keeps this thing together is two very loud Velcro straps, which you see right there. And as you saw, they kind of are really loud and they're very hard to pull off. But the thing that I like you can do with this is if you want to cover one of these Velcro straps up, you can actually just take the under piece here and pull it out. And it's not super fast, but you know, you're not going to be doing this all the time. Then there's a receiver for the Velcro and then it goes right there. And then there's only one Velcro piece that goes up against this. And now when you open it, it's a lot easier. You just do it like that. And you can do that on either side and you can also have both. So it just opens really easily and doesn't have any resistance when you open it if you're walking around a lot and you need to access your camera a lot. So next up, there's a front pouch right here, also covered by a Velcro piece right here. And then this expands. Now, there are many compartments in this, and I hope I'll be able to show this fully on video. We might need to add a little bit of B-roll to show this, but there is a compartment right here, a second compartment on top of that, one big compartment right here, the biggest compartment where you can just throw anything right here. Then, there are two smaller like pen compartments, um, which are handy if you need to have like pen and sign all your autographs like I do. I'm just kidding, I don't. And then we have this right here, which normally would hold the rain cover, which um, would normally hold your keys if you're using this as an everyday carry bag. Um, also on this red uh, loop right here, they pre-install a like uh, rain resistant cover to put around this thing. This thing's already water resistant enough that I just took that out, but that's normally here. They give you a complete black cover for this thing if you're out in like pouring rain. Then right here, there is a very nice leather um, pull right here. And then you can open this zipper right here, which you can put uh, probably loose cables and stuff. So that's really nice. And also you can put this thing down here. So if you want this just to be an open pouch, you can. Although no matter what, it will cover the zipper right here. So I kind of keep that right here. So it just keeps everything that's normally loose in here safe. 
Next up, in between the two main compartments, there's this right here, which can hold up to a 13-inch MacBook Pro, which I have one, so I put it in here. And although it is extremely snug and you kind of have to jam it in there, it won't damage or hurt it at all, so it will go in there for sure, and it doesn't warp the bag or anything. Next up is the main compartment. Now, you can put so many things in here, it's pretty crazy. So, although I'm filming on it right now, a Sony a7 III with the kit lens fits perfectly in here, and there's actually some extra spots at the bottom, so you could easily um, put a G Master lens in there and it fit fine. Also, like a USR or USR5 or anything like that would fit perfectly in here. Now, these are all Velcro pieces, so you can take all this out, customize where all these spaces are. They give you three extra short ones and then one extra large one right here which I put here and then these are kind of like maneuverable ones that you can move up and down to how you want but your camera would probably go right here just for how I have it set it up you can set it for any camera you want and any configuration that you want um, normally I put my Rode Video Micro right here you could also fit a Rode Video Pro Plus if you wanted to also right here is where I like put random things I think right now I have my lens caps and also just the main camera body cap so that's just nice for anything random like that. Also, just an extra switch plate. It just slides in there if you want to. And then this compartment, I'll nor normally put my um, Sony RX100 Mark IV backup camera if I wanted to, and there's plenty of space down in there. So that's just another throw it all in there kind of place. There's also just some tags right here if you want to cut those off, you can. Or you can use them as uh, loops if you want to hook something in there. Then, if you pull this around, on the back, there is the second to last compartment, which has this and you can use this as an iPad bag you can use it as a random thing like I just have a bit of paracord right here and you can really just kind of put anything you want here um, you cannot fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro in here though so it's gonna be mainly for iPads and tablets then the last pouch on the side I know there's only a few pouches on this thing there's this very nice looking hook right here and if you undo that from the little loop it has four velcro dots that stick to each other and then this piece comes out now, if you look inside there, there's actually a Velcro piece that pulls down to make kind of a bottom rigid part of this. So now like this is a full, nice looking piece on the bag. And then you can stick your water bottle in here and it fits the thickest of water bottles. I have like the widest water bottle you can get and it fits perfectly in here. So this will fit pretty much any water bottle. And then you can just lift that up, Velcros to the side these velcro to the side and then you can just hook that back in and then bam that fast I have that all done and the two last things on this are the carry strap which you can take on and off um, I just have it at the stock point so this you can just carry it around like this then on the shoulder strap there's like a rigid piece at the top of this thing and then also on the bottom we just have some rubber pieces and the cushion this thing's very comfortable from my experience and uh, these nice kind of like bronze pieces all over this really add a nice accent to this um, they're of course all metal very high quality stitching is uh, a lot of it's actually double stitched if you look at it close so it seems very high quality to me and it feels very nice looks very nice looks very discreet and uh, one last thing I want to point out on the back if you notice there's like blue on this I don't know if it's catching the camera right, but there's blue for my jeans on this. Um, if you have jeans and you carry this to the point where it's against like your thighs and stuff, like I do, um, your blue from your jeans will get all over the back. I have no idea if you can get it off or not. Um, it doesn't bother me that much, but keep that in mind that uh, this does pick up other materials from pants and stuff very easily. So this is a great camera bag. It does everything I need. Um, going over like the things I like about it, um, it really, I love pretty much everything about it. It holds everything I need except for one thing, which is the thing I don't like about it. It doesn't hold my Joby Gorilla Pod or my normal tripod. Most camera bags will have a thing either to hold it on the top or the side or the bottom, normally the bottom for a shoulder bag. This thing does not have that option. So really you kind of have to carry your Joby Gorilla Pod separate or your normal tripod separate too. And so then you add another bag into the equation, then you start to think to yourself, should I just have a full camera backpack? That's kind of for you to make your own decision, but I'm just putting it out there that you cannot hold any tripods on this thing, but this thing will hold all kinds of stuff. If you guys want to see a what's in my bag video, people really seem to like those, I can make that. Just let me know in the comments down below. But personally, do I think it's worth the money? If you look at the other bags around this price range, um, I really do think this is worth the money. It looks very good for just kind of more rugged style. Now there is one other bag that I might 
advise looking at, and that is the Peak Design. What is it? It's like the, the photo is coming up on screen right now, but it's about the same price as this bag, and it's kind of a more modern looking bag. This kind of looks a little bit more rugged, like you're out in the woods and stuff. I don't think that's on frame if I hang it there, but that's just something that I don't personally own, but I just think it looks pretty cool, so you might want to do some research on that one before you buy this one, but if you really think you want this one, and you want to know my opinion, I'd say go pick it up. It seems like a great bag. Again, link down in the description down below. Not affiliate, not sponsored if you want to pick it up. So I hope this video was helpful and helped inform you on the decision if you want to buy this or not. And I also hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to go check out some of my other videos, you can go under this video. You'll see my channel icon. If you click that, it'll bring you to all my other videos. And they're pretty interesting. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.